five broken glass from shattered windows in front of nearly a dozen San Marco storefronts this morning. And this evening, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office looking for this man who you're about to see in just a minute, who they say broke the windows and stole items from at least one store. Our Zach Wilcox is on your side tonight. He's joining us live in San Marco. And Zach, I know you spoke with a couple of those business owners about what they woke up to find this morning at their businesses. Yeah, Anthony, I figured I'd show you. Peter Brook was talking to the owner here earlier, and she mentioned that it almost seemed like a hurricane had come through because you had all these companies working on repairing all the broken glass. You can see they've got it all boarded up here. Little sign saying they are open with a smiley face, letting folks know that they are open for business after this morning. And the strangest thing was 10 total businesses was how many I was able to talk to that had some sort of shattered glass, and that the uh, recurring theme was that they weren't missing anything. They were surprised to see all the glass on the ground, yet not missing anything inside except for one burglary that JSO did report over at Firehouse. But uh, now they're all, a lot of them are boarded up. Some of them you already had their window panes replaced, but certainly was a lot of commotion this morning and enough to throw things out of their regular rhythm for the earliest of customers. I feel bad for the, the business owners. Times are hard and this isn't going to make it any easier. Matt Miles and his daughter Claire have a Wednesday morning tradition, going to Maple Street Biscuit Company before school. That weekly tradition was broken by broken glass. It, it's something special for us, but it pales in comparison to what they have to go through. Maple Street was one of at least 10 San Marco businesses to find their windows shattered Wednesday morning. A report from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it appears someone started vandalizing businesses on the east end of the plaza at Sherwin-Williams around 1.30 in the morning, working their way up for 45 minutes to firehouse subs. Several businesses found palm-sized rocks at the base of the shattered windows. First time it's ever happened that, you know, to me. And it's been 40 years, so we had a bunch of product right here, nothing taken. It's more of a, a pain, you know, we got to clean up. Firehouse Subs is the only business to report anything stolen. Five bags of chips and a bottle of soda. Police released this picture of the suspect as he appears to reach for the chip rack in the sandwich shop. Managers at Town Hall and Bank of America told me they've already shared their surveillance videos with JSO. Fortunately, no one reported any injuries, but it's left businesses and neighbors scratching their heads. You always think, you know, when you're in your little neighborhood and, and stuff and, and, and you see the same friendly faces and, and the same things every day, that something like this really couldn't happen. So, of course, parking is always at least a little hectic in San Marco, but it's been even busier than usual out here because of all the JSO cars that have been here throughout the day. We've seen detectives and officers walking up and down this stretch, checking in a lot of the businesses that were vandalized and uh, continuing their investigation there. And in total, JSO estimates it was about $30,000 worth of damage. In San Marco, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.